Let's say you have generated some really good illustrations and vectors, but after downloading, when you zoom it in, it really doesn't look like a vector because you have lost so much details. Now you want to convert this into a real vector image with your own backgrounds and shadows, but you don't want to spend your time on Adobe Illustrator, so you can actually convert your images into vectors in just one click. So let's see how to do that. So first of all, we have to create some good vectors. For that, I'm using Leonardo AI. You can use any of your favorite tool. Now let's get some inspiration from other people's generations. In this gallery section, you will find some really good artworks and designs. So let's pick one of them. So this one is a really good graphic design of a car uh, for the print on my t-shirt. So you can see the prompt and model that he used. Now you have to click the remix button to use the same settings and the same prompt. So it will copy all of the settings that he used. Now we are on the same model with same settings and same prompt. So let's generate. So it came out with really good images. And then I tried my own custom prompt and these are the images that I have generated with my own prompt. So instead of typing those lengthy prompts, you can try this formula. First of all, you have to define the object, then the angle or the pose of the object. And then you have to define the lighting conditions and then you have to define the color. You can use dual tones or a single color and keep the rest of the sentence as the same. You can also change your parameters accordingly. Now it's time to convert it into a vector. For that, we will be using a free tool called Vectorizer AI. Now pick one of the images that you want to vectorize and after some kind of processing, here is the result of before and after. So if we zoom it in, now you can see it's not pixelating because it is converted into a real vector. And you can see the before and after, how crisp and sharp the edges are. So here is another example where you can see the sharpness and details and doesn't matter how much you zoom in, each and everything is looking perfect and it's not pixelating. So this was the easiest way to convert this into a vector. Now you can click this blue button to download it and here you have some different options to download. You can download this into SVG, EPS, PDF or in a PNG file. And you can also play around with some settings if you want to, but I would prefer to keep it as a default. Now if you want to remove the background or want to change the background color or want to add shadows to it, you can do this easily with Pixel Cut AI. Click on the tools and select the background remover tool. Now upload your image and after some kind of processing, your background is removed. Now you can fine tune it later if you want to. You have the option to restore or erase the remaining part. Now from the left side, you can select your background color or you can use color palette tool to select the color of your preference. So if you want to add shadows to it, you can click on this shadows button, select the color and move the slider accordingly to adjust it. You can also control blur. You can increase or decrease the amount of opacity and blur where you find it, it's looking perfect. Now you can click the download button and select the file format, PNG or the JPEG and you are done. So this was the easiest way to turn your AI art into vectors. So that's it from this video. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.